Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I am coming on today to uh, work on this project with you a little bit. I am using the beautiful um, digital kit from Ulala La Vintage Tre Treasures called Divine Moments. Look at the sweet little angel. It's just full of beautiful little angels like this. I absolutely love it. And so um, I broke out all my Angel Dream Craft goodies and I printed off some of her digitals on fabric and I thought we would work on this first page of my uh, lace book. i putting together like a mini lace book because I haven't made a lace book in years and I just felt like I wanted to, I wanted to have some lacy, uh, fluffy little <laughs> fabric book in my hands. So... Um, I did put the book together and I'm trying to uh, edit a video on how I did that if you're interested but um, with my internet issues I'm not sure if I'm actually going to be able to upload that but I will try um, but I did get the uh, pocket page done and now I just want to work on this page right here and I'm going to use this adorable image to go right there but I did print off also from the kit. Let me find that paper. It's a page of like all of these beautiful strips. Look at how pretty this digital is. So I cut out the middle strip. Um, I printed this one out on cardstock and then I just sewed up some of the uh, pink tool I've been working with on it. So I'm thinking, um, I'm probably going to put that across here, but I think I want some lace peeking out the side. And let me go ahead and clip this book closed. I like to clip it when I'm working on it just so I can see. So it'll lay flat and I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to use this beautiful lace from Angel Dream Crafts, but I'm actually not going to use the cute bow. I'm going to cut that off and I think I'm just going to use this side. So first let me see how long I want this to be because I do want it to be longer than the page. So I think that'll work. Okay, so I just want that peeking out and then hopefully I can cut off and still use the bows for another project because they are super cute. So let me just get these cut off and see how long I have to go. All right, right there. I'm trying hard lately not to waste anything. But you know, it doesn't always work out that way. Okay, so let's get that out of my way. I was actually supposed to be at work today, but we had a glorious snow day, and I couldn't be happier about that. So I'm just going to glue that on here. I was in need of a good old snow day, you know what I mean? I'm so happy. So happy about it. All right. Oh, yes, adorable little embellishment. Oh, please excuse me. <laughs> I have to sneeze, but all of a sudden it decided it didn't want to come out. So, okay. <laughs> um, yes, that is super cute. I do want to put some appliques sticking out of the back of this uh, the back of this image I think I'm gonna use this pink uh, lace from Angel Dream Crafts I love to snippety snip up this lace it's just the perfect lace for that so let me cut that little piece off there and um, well now because I couldn't sneeze I have the sniffles so pardon me <laughs> in me because I kind of want that peeking out from there or do I want that on top of there it actually goes this way oh because that's cute but I think I have to put the image way over because this guy is going right there let's see oh 
I'll just cut this up a little bit smaller. I think I want it on top of the image and not under because that was cute. It's those last minute decisions. Okay. Okay. That is super cute. So maybe I won't put anything under her. <clears throat> Excuse me. But then again, I want more layers on this. So maybe I will put this on there. This is another um, really pretty lace from Angel Dream Crafts. Love it. And I think I can just put it right there. But I don't need the whole thing right there. So I'm going to save. <laughs> Let's save half of it and use half of it for something else. Just use this half right there. Yeah, I like it. And please um, don't do as I do and touch the hot glue with your hand. Get yourself a spatula or some rubber fingertips. Because <laughs> it is hot glue, for goodness sakes. It is hot glue. So the only thing is I did not back this with any um, felt. So I'm worried that you're going to see the pattern on that lace. So let me just take the paper off of this and check it out. Wait, I have so many glue streaks. <laughs> Another reason why you don't touch the hot glue with your fingers because then you have glue all over your fingers okay let's see it's not always the easiest thing to peel off all right so I've got that and I think you're gonna just you'll be able to see it but actually it doesn't look too bad so I think I'm gonna glue I'm gonna go ahead and glue her down Starting with this edge right here. All right, and I'm going to try to follow my own advice and use my spatula, <laughs> not my finger. <laughs> Goodness. All right. Now we'll get these two edges. I don't normally put glue in the middle of my image uh, because then you have like you'll get a big glue bump and I don't want that so I normally just do the edges all right oh, she's so precious look at how precious she is okay where's all my snippety bits this I'm pretty sure is gonna go there I'm going to let it hang. I might put a little flower cut luster right there. Let me just go ahead and I'm just going to glue, hot glue this guy on. Yes. Okay. And I need more glue. Well, it amazes me how quick you go through the hot glue and your glue gun. Just crazy. Okay. I would like these edges to be glued down so it's not making a gap over the image. Yeah, that's, that's right. Okay, now I snippety this off because I'm thinking that's cute. Where's the, some other bits here? I have these tool flowers in my stash that I thought would be adorable, but I kind of want some leaves coming out. And I have, uh, these leaves are from a trim from Angel Dream Crafts that I've been snippety snipping up for months, it feels like, because I just love the leaves. And of course, below this video, I will put a link to Ooh La La Vintage Treasures on Etsy and to Angel Dream Crafts on Etsy so you can go get all of the fabulous things to play with. Um, I, 
and I, I'm like, oh, I like that so much. But do I want to cover the edges with something? I feel like this is way too big. Way too big a braid trim to put over. I mean, that's a lot of something right there, isn't it? What do you think? I could put some sari. Uh, what else do I have? I have this guy that I could do this guy and then I could put some bling in the middle of this flower and that would be really cute. Uh, you know what? I think that's what we'll do. Love it. Okay. So let me just get some glue right there. Make sure that's down where I want it to be. Okay, yes. Oh, cuteness, cuteness. All right. So the other thing is, do I want to cover this top edge with something? Um, hmm. What did I do with the leaf I just had? I'm sure you guys saw where I put it, and you're probably yelling at me right now of where it is, but I don't see it. I see this piece I cut off, but I don't see the pink leaf I cut off. <laughs> I have giant piles on my desk, and everything's getting lost in the giant piles. That's what's happening. Okay. I might have to cut off another one. Okay, that goes with this, that goes with that. Let me set that off to the side before my desk eats that too. I'm wondering if I want to just add a little bit of this on top so you're not seeing the edge of that. I don't know. Hmm. I kind of just want the little, the middle part there and not the big flower. All right, let me cut that off. There we go. All right. Um, yes, please. I love that. Sometimes I tend to over embellish because I don't know when to stop, but I wasn't done. I wasn't ready to stop. And like, I almost want to do a thing right there. Goodness. Y'all, I think I'm gonna, I just really don't like the hard edge um, of my image showing. It's not my favorite. So I'm just going to use this pretty trim, edging trim and cover it up. Yes, that's adorable. Now I might not need the uh, other pink applique that I had ready for this. Oh, see, so so much nicer without the edges showing. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. Okay, and I'm already at 13 minutes. My goodness. All right, so I think I am gonna go ahead and do this with this. Well, this way though. <laughs> Yes, let's do that. I really do like that. Which way does it go? It goes this way. Sometimes it's hard to tell which way is up. Okay. Oh, it's so cute. I don't know where I got these, but I really love them. I just found them in my flower box and I was like, those will be perfect for this. So, I don't fully embellish all the pages one by one. I kind of get them to a stopping point, which this one is at a good stopping point right now. And then I will work on the rest of the pages. And then when I have all the pages done, I come back and do the final details. So I haven't done the front uh, cover yet. I have plans for that though, and I'm excited. Um, and this is the first page that's 
just really basically done it just needs its final touches so I still have pages to go <laughs> so I hope you'll come along with me on this journey and um, thanks for watching I'd love to know what you think leave me a comment and a thumbs up please and I will see you guys on the next one bye everybody